Hey everyone, it's Jared from Heat Press Nation and today I'm with Vince here at DTF Station. And Vince, uh, you're gonna talk to us about maintenance today? Yeah, let's go over the maintenance on the Prestige A4. First for the Prestige A4, we're gonna do the end of day maintenance. You're done printing for the day with your A4, really easy. All we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna manually slide our carriage over, just like that. And we're gonna do two things. We're gonna clean our wiper blade and we're gonna clean around our capping station. To make it easy, you can actually use two hands. You can use one finger to move this over and we can really get inside here and clean our wiper blade. Now this should be nice and clean. If it looks like this, you probably haven't been doing your maintenance enough. So again, this is end of day maintenance. We're gonna clean around here. Let me get a clean swab. I'm gonna take one more and just go over it one more time. There, much better, just very little ink, which is what we're looking for. And then the second thing is we're gonna clean around this capping station right here. So just around it here, we don't wanna build up of ink, just like that around it. Perfect. We're gonna go ahead and slide the capping station all the way back over, just like that. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the weekly maintenance. Weekly and as needed, we do need to clean this encoder strip, which is this clear strip right here. Make sure you are using a lint-free wipe. So we're gonna go ahead and very carefully kind of cover it like such, and then just slide across it very gently. This guy, it's really nothing, this machine is pretty darn clean, but again, it is weekly or as needed. We're gonna clean this encoder strip just like such. Very gentle, just like that. The other weekly or as needed is making sure we empty our waste bottle. There's no sensor on this, and so we need to make sure we keep an eye on it periodically. End of week, go ahead and take this out. And then we can go ahead and take this and dispose of it. Every state's different, so check your local state regulations as far as how we can dispose of it. California, we're probably gonna need some hardener to pour it into, or have like a drum and have a company come and take, take that. But it is a water-based ink, so remember that. I wanna go ahead and make sure that I clean the pinch rollers. It's a little more difficult to get in here, but we're just gonna go ahead and clean around it, just like such. If your prints ever have any markings or something that shouldn't be there, go ahead and check your pinch rollers. Um, usually it's the culprit. This is again weekly or as needed. And last is gonna be as needed maintenance. To clean the print head, we're gonna go ahead and slide this over into the middle. And then I actually want to tilt the carriage back just a little bit so that way it's easier to get my swab under there. Very important, we're not actually touching the physical print head, just around it. Now, you do need that seven swab to get inside there. Again, we're never actually touching the physical print head of it. We're just gonna go ahead and put our swab inside here and just clean around it very carefully, just like such. Again, never touching the physical face of the print head, just like that. We wanna grease these rails. This is what allows the carriage to move back and forth. I can go ahead and apply just a little bit here and just go ahead and grease this up. Just like such. This will allow my carriage to move more freely. And now Vince is gonna show us the maintenance on the Prestige R2. You know what's really cool is the R2 maintenance applies to the R2 Pro as well. All right, first we're gonna go over the end of day maintenance. It's really easy. End of day maintenance shouldn't take you very long. All we're gonna go ahead and do is open our cover and we're gonna slide the printhead carriage all the way over to the left. Really what we're doing is we're exposing a few things. This is our wiper blade that we need to make sure we keep clean. And then we wanna clean around the capping station. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And really easy, we're using our DTF station cleaning solution. We're just gonna go ahead and wipe this. We're not gonna to apply too much pressure. So I'm gonna get one that's wet just like that, and I'm gonna take one that's nice and clean and just go over it one more time here to get all the ink off. Again, really easy. Now the wiper blade is clean. We're gonna go ahead and clean around the capping station. Again, this is actually what makes suction with our print head. We just wanna clean nice and around it, get any ink off here, and make good suction. We want to make sure we do this every single day at the end, end of our production. That's nice and clean. 
And the last thing we want to do is actually clean around the print head. What's really nice is that there's a mirror right here that you can actually see your print head. And so you can see how uh, clean or dirty it is. We never want to touch the physical print head. We just want to touch around the print head or clean around the print head. So if you can kind of see right there, there's some white buildup alongside the print head. We're going to take our swab. If you have the seven inch swabs, it's even better. We're going to put a little bit of cleaning solution and we're just going to go ahead and just wipe just around that area here. Again, we're not physically touching the print head. We're just cleaning around it. Both sides, this side is really clean, so I just wanna make sure we get all the ink off on this side. And there is two print heads. It's kinda of hard to see, but there is the CMYK one in the back. So we wanna make sure that we clean around that one as well. I'm gonna go ahead and finish around this guy here. Again, we're not physically touching the print head. It's very important. Just cleaning around it. When you're done for the maintenance for the day, it's super important that you hit the enter button. What this does is it resets your carriage, and I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but it actually makes nice good suction so that way your print head stays nice and clean, nice and dry, um, and it won't dry out, so. Next is gonna be the weekly maintenance. Even though my waste ink bottle has a sensor on it, I wanna make sure if that it's getting full that I can go ahead and dispose of this. Every state's a little bit different as far as how we can dispose of it. So I can go ahead and take this out. We're in California, so it's pretty strict. And so I will need some sort of hardener to dispose of this or um, a drum and then we can have a company properly dispose of it. But I do need to make sure that this is empty weekly. Okay, the other weekly maintenance is cleaning our pinch rollers. If you can see, there's a little bit of buildup on our actual pinch rollers. So to lift our pinch rollers, we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy up. It's gonna lift our pinch roller. We can take one of our swabs and we can go ahead and clean this off just like such. We don't want to be too aggressive, but we don't want any debris or residue on here. Clean that off like such. Really important that we clean all these. If you ever have film and you notice that there's markings on your film, it's typically a dirty pinch roller. So again, just take a few minutes and give this a nice good cleaning. Wipe all that off. And then when you're done, we're just going to go ahead and put the pinch rollers back down. So the last of the weekly is cleaning the encoder strip. It's kind of hard to see because it's kind of clear, but it's this band right here. We want to make sure this is clean. If it's dirty, your printer won't know when to start and stop. And so we want to take one of our lint-free wipes, make sure it's nice and clean like such. I kind of just go on top of it and bring it straight across. Very gently to get any buildup. Right now it's super clean. But if you print a lot, you might have some ink or maybe in some dust or debris. So you want to make sure that we do this uh, weekly. Again, bring it down just like such. And swipe it across. And last is going to be the as-needed maintenance. The only other one is greasing the carriage rail. Uh, what we have here is some white lithium grease. We want to go ahead and take one of our cleaning swabs. And we want to go ahead and basically apply some of this um, you can see that it already has a bunch here. This is a new machine, and so it comes pre-greased. But again, this is as needed, so if you notice that your carriage isn't moving as smoothly, um, we wanna go ahead and definitely apply this. So as needed, so go ahead and just apply a little bit inside here. This is basically where the printer goes left and right, and it'll allow it to move a lot smoother. And it's super important, guys, that you leave the machine on. The printer's gonna auto-clean. It won't auto-clean if you turn it off. I just want to say a big thank you to Jared from Heat Press Nation for coming by, allowing me to kind of go over the maintenance on the A4 and the R2. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Vince. Yeah, and for all of your DTS Station products, you can head on over to heatpressnation.com.